Welcome back. Hello everyone. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer and currently working as a Solutions Architect in Azure. In our previous recording, we have learned about App Service Plan and we have also seen how to create App Service Plan using Bicep. To be more specific, we have created an App Service Plan with Windows operating system inside it. Let me head over to Azure portal to show you the same. This is App Service Plan and here you can see Windows operating system. That's what we have created in the previous recording. Today we are going to create one more app service plan but this time with Linux as operating system inside that app service plan. Let's head over to Visual Studio Code. Alright, so let me copy paste the existing code and I will change the symbolic name. I'll just make it as two and then I will append Linux inside the name of the app service plan. Now in order to create an app service plan with Linux you need to specify kind as Linux and apart from this we also need to specify a property and then here we need to specifically mention result as true that's it without this it won't create a Linux app service plan. So even if you mention kind as Linux, the result equal to true property must be explicitly mentioned within the properties. That's mandatory. That's very important. All right. Let's execute this. Save the changes and then run the command. Let's head over to portal and see the progress. Within the resource group, click on deployments and our bicep deployment is in progress. Click on the link. Deployment is in progress and it's done. You see, it shows us the status of creation of both the app service plans. The first one is Windows app service plan and the next one is Linux app service plan. Let me click on this button to navigate to the resource group where you can see two app service plans. Let me click on this and here you see the operating system is Linux. That's it. We have learned how to create an app service plan with Linux environment. That's it for today. Thank you.